Well, I am absolutely thrilled and delighted to receive the Order of Canada, but also somewhat astonished because I had always imagined that this was an honor that was mostly given to elite members of the establishment, if I can put it that way. And so I am thrilled that they gave it to a notorious shit disturber. Well, a lot of the work that I've done in the last 10, 15 years has been to try to reveal the story behind the story on issues that have often caused people some fear or alarm and I think there have been a lot of misperceptions. So with self-represented litigants I think that the view before I started my research was that they were really mostly troublemakers who were coming into the courts to you know break down the nice peaceful orderliness of the process. But in fact these are people who can't afford lawyers which means you and me and everybody else. And so I, I really bring some uncomfortable stories, I think, to the fore in my work. Um, similarly, the work that I've done around Islamic Sharia divorce, um, it's really quite a normal cultural ritual of divorce. It doesn't involve chopping the heads off or hands off anybody that I've come across. And then I also do a lot of work with uh, victims of sexual violence, talking to, through with them whether they want to step forward and of course really anybody who steps forward to report sexual misconduct is going to have a difficult time and so you know part of what I do is, is trying to have people prepared for that uh, but also going in unafraid about speaking up for safety. Well I am enormously grateful to all the people that I work with who have supported me over the years and do fantastic work and I want to call out in particular the law students who work for the National Self-Represented Litigants Project um, at the Faculty of Law and also Dana Cornwall and Moya McAllister, my staff persons, who are just wonderful.